Hello, my name is Sandra Jotic, and I come from grammar school Isidora Sakovic in Novi Sad, Serbia. Well, I could talk about myself for hours, but unfortunately, we don't have enough time for that. So I'm going to tell you something about my biggest weakness. I'm absolutely mad about cookies. And to make matters even worse, my mom, she loves to bake. As you probably know, most cookies are shaped like circles, leaving so many rests in between. So my mom, she ends up spending way too much time in the kitchen, just rolling the dough over and over again. One day, I decided to surprise her and make some cookies of my own for a change. But I couldn't bother to spend that much time in the kitchen, so I remembered something about tessellation. Do you know what tessellation is? It's basically a posh mathematical word for tiling. It's covering a plain surface with no gaps and no overlaps. You have tessellation everywhere, on the floors, on the walls, in your kitchen, in your bathroom, even as you walk down the street, on the pavement. You can tessellate in two different ways. In a regular way, or in a semi-regular way. When tessellating in a regular way, you can use only one type of regular polygon. So you can either choose from the regular triangle, the square, or the regular hexagon. When you tessellate in a semi-regular way, you can use more than one type of regular polygon. You can also choose from the octagon or from the 12 side polygon. Anyway, I decided to make my cookies shaped like squares. But my mom, she absolutely hated the idea. She's very traditional. I started to suggest the other shapes, like the triangle or the hexagon, but she still said no. She's a very stubborn woman. So I started to think. And eventually, I came up with a solution. I still use tessellation just to make cookies with holes in them. I even made some prototype models for it. See? Now, my mom, she gets her round cookies, and for the rest of us, we get to save up time in the kitchen and enjoy a variety of different shapes. <laughs>